Welcome to another episode of Making with Mark. In this video, I'll build this handsome little robot from scratch. Let's get started. For this build, I'm drawing from my bins of computer parts, some plumbing supplies, and a few other little bits and pieces that I have lying around. I'm gonna use this old used K-cup for the head, and I know I wanna use this piece of PVC pipe for the body. I've used these plumbing rings before. They make excellent parts for robots, and so do these little rings. The first things first, I wanna go ahead and concentrate on the two legs for the robot, and I'm using these pieces that came out of, I believe, a, an old CD player out of a computer. I'm gonna take some of these metal bits that I don't need off and save those for later. And after a little trimming, I have a couple of legs that are almost identical. Moving on to the body, the pipe is actually a little rough on the edges, which is what I want. And I, I know this plumbing ring is gonna fit up to the underside and look pretty cool. I just need to scuff up the ring to make it seal better. So after a little bit of super glue, that fits nicely. Now to make sure that these two pieces stay put, I'm going back to my trusty baking powder and what I want to do is just kind of sprinkle that into the crease to get onto that super glue. I tap off the excess and that's locked in nice and tight. I'm looking at the legs and the body just to see how I want to position those. And I'm going to use these little plumbing clamps. I'll take the nail out and then kind of use that as a fender. First I had to just cut the back um, to fit. And once I get that off, get that cleaned up a little bit. This is going to make the perfect fender. Once the fender's attached, it's time to move on to mounting the shoulder piece to the leg and then to the body. To do that, I'm using these plastic rings, a little super glue. I'll put those in place. And then I go back to the baking powder solution to just lock these in and make it nice and strong. For the wheels, I use these little plastic gears and more of those little plastic washers. And then just sort of mocked up the wheel and tire. I was pretty happy with the way that looked. So I'm gonna actually use this in um, both legs on the side and then the piece in the front that will stabilize the robot. I'm using the center plastic part of a fishing cork for the lower part of the leg to attach the wheel to the upper leg. I use my cutting wheel on the Dremel, cut these to the length I want, and then I just cut a notch out of the ends, and this will help the piece to fit nicely up against the wheel and the upper leg. I glue those together with some super glue, and then I shaved off the center hub of one of those gears, and this is just so that it'll fit up nicely against that plastic tube. Once I, I like the fit, then I go ahead and add some glue, glue that in place, and we're looking pretty good. With the legs assembled, it's time to go ahead and attach them to the body. So first I line up exactly the, where I want it to go and make sure that the height and the angle is right. And I have the body of the robot tilted back ever so slightly. And once I get one side, I go ahead and just repeat that same angle and height on the other side. Careful to make sure that the robot's gonna sit level when everything's done. Once both of the legs are in place and I'm satisfied with the look, 
I go back and reinforce the joints with more glue and more baking powder. That's just to lock this in and make sure it stays solid. From there, it's time to move on to this front wheel or the stabilizer, whatever you want to call it. And for that, went back to my trusty computer part bin and I found this little piece that looks like it's off of maybe an old printer or an old appliance. And you can see the faded yellow top there. So I know this part is quite old, but it'll work perfect for this. So what I need to do is figure out the angle um, that this is going to attach to the underside. So first, I go ahead and glue the gears in place just like I did for the two side wheels. And then I figured out the angle roughly that this needed to be to sit uh, flush or sit uh, at the correct angle rather on the underside of the robot. For the underside, before I can glue that in, I found this piece. It's actually the top of a LED candlelight and that fit perfect on the underside of the body. So I went ahead and used that, glued the front wheel onto the stabilizer, did some final adjusting, secured this plate onto the bottom of the robot, added some glue, and then set it in place. I was very happy with the look and the way this turned out. It looks you know, pretty technical, a little different than the side arms, but I wanted it to look different. And now I'm starting to look ahead for something real exciting that I'm gonna do on this build, and that is add LED lights. And to power those, I'm gonna use this nine volt battery. Unfortunately, the uh, plastic base didn't hold the battery just right, but with some modification, I was able to make it work. Finishing up the other gear on the wheel hub, things are really starting to look good. In order to start adding more detail to the robot's body, I'm going back to these old trusty zip ties or wire ties. And these work really good. They provide detail. They're very flexible, easy to work with, and they just look cool, especially when you paint and distress them. I think it adds a whole lot to the character of the robot. So I start off with some super glue and I just work my way around the top edge of the body and just go a little at a time. Once I reach the end, I cut it to length, add a little bit of glue. And with that, we've added a good bit of detail to the top of the robot body. I go back to my scrap parts bin and looking for something that I can use for extra detail. I felt like the middle of the body needed something and these little pieces work great for that. So I used my sanding wheel on a rotary tool, cleaned up the edges of this piece, added some glue, and then went ahead and glued it in place where I wanted it. This is another thing that will really uh, paint up nice and distress nicely. It gives a lot of character as you can see. Back to the computer parts bin where I found these little black pieces. These are little capacitors. I found a couple other little bits in there as well. And I go ahead and place those with some super glue. And moving on, place one more capacitor on the front. I have these little fuses. These are also out of an old computer. I believe a power supply that I broke down a few years ago. I had two of them, so I decided to add them as sort of like some little shock absorber pieces on each leg. Then I had this spring piece from my scrap bins. I actually thought this would make a good rear stabilizer just to hold the robot up so he doesn't tip backwards. After a little bit of glue and some more baking powder, it was locked in nice. Now it's on to a really fun part here. I'm going to add a switch in the back of the robot and some LEDs and I sort of tinkered around with some LEDs that I had and I settled on these uh, pre-wired LEDs that I found on Amazon. These are great because I don't have to add the wire leads to them. I can just work with them right out of the box. First thing I do is figure out where the switch is gonna go. 
I decided to put it in the back of the head and I thought that turned out pretty good. Added some super glue to secure it and a little more baking powder and that really firmed up the whole head and switch area. And I found this old bottle cap that worked really well as an insert to connect the head to the body. But first, I'm going to go ahead and add some more detail to the head itself. You'll recognize this piece that I'm using for the face. Uh, it's one of the pieces that came off of the legs earlier. I thought it worked really well here. So I'll go ahead and glue that on. Using my drill, I went ahead and put a hole in the front for an LED that I'm going to add later. And then I'm going to put a total of three LEDs in the head, two in the front, and I'm gonna use an existing hole from the actual um, K-cup itself for a light in the top. And here I'm just adding the wires to the switch that are gonna to connect to the battery and then the other leads that will connect to a wire off of each LED. And once I have those in place, I go ahead and use my soldering gun and just lock those in. Then I decide to open up uh, the center of this blue cap and that's so that I can pass the battery uh, wire in and some of the other wires that connect to the other LEDs. Went ahead and added a coat of primer and then this chrome spray paint to the body of the robot. And now it's time to start adding in some of those LEDs. So I want to use this orange one for the top. To get it in place, I'm just using my pliers uh, holding on to the wires at the back and then I can actually press that through the hole in the top of the head. Once that's in place I go ahead and splice or actually uh, shave the end of the insulation off the wire and then I can go ahead and start making some of those connections. Moving on I add a red LED and a blue LED in the head and then I glue those in place and I just keep repeating that same process of wiring. Here I'm testing out the LEDs and I love what I'm seeing. Finally I add a green LED into the body of the robot and then it's on to creating a base for the bottom of the head. Cut it to the approximate size and then glued it on to the bottom of the K-cup and I secured that with some extra glue and baking powder. And then using my rotary tool, I cleaned up that edge to be nice and smooth. Once I was ready, I glued the blue cap to that base. And then went ahead and made my final connections for the wires that go into the robot's body. Once all of these wires were bundled together, I used some helping hands and my soldering iron and went ahead and locked all these in. I added some tabs to the bottom of that blue cap just to add some extra pressure and hold the head to the body nice and securely. I'm very happy with the way these lights turned out. This is my first time adding LEDs to a robot and I was, I was really happy to see this. Just went ahead and did some uh, acrylic paint on some final details. And then I finish up with a black wash. And this is just thinned acrylic paint. I just used water. And then I come back and dab off a good bit of that paint using a damp paper towel. And I'll just keep repeating this process until I'm happy with the look. This was a very fun project. I'm just thrilled to use the LEDs and just very happy with the way this one turned out. this video 
check out these other two that I think you'll also enjoy.